So you went out and bought a rifle, or you got a rifle, and at some point you realized, man, this thing probably needs a light on it for reasons. There's a lot of options out there, and some of them are friggin' pricey. Surefire, mod light, cloud, all those things have really good output, nice switching, and most of them cost two to four hundred dollars, depending on options, outputs, whatever you want. And that's cool if you got a spare. 400 bucks laying around just to put a light on a rifle. But what if you don't? Are there other viable options? I don't know, maybe we're gonna try one and find out. Stick around. All right, so if you're on my Facebook, you probably saw this bad boy. It's a regular TN 12 through night, but it has mounting options for rails. At least that's what it said when I ordered it. I guess we're gonna find out together if this is going to work at least on initial inspection obviously i've got rifle pressure switch tail cap the light itself some sort of mounting solution confidant told me that he was having hard times with this mount so i'm going to be really curious to see how it behaves for me i don't know i guess we'll find out we'll play with that it looks like it comes with all the regular stuff that the through knight comes with. So if you don't want to use the weapon mounting stuff, I don't know why you'd buy this package if you didn't want to buy the weapon mounting stuff. That seems kind of silly to me, but you know, you do you kids. Let's see. I don't even know what the heck this is. I think it's just the lanyard, definitely the lanyard. Snack, extra cheap holster, and of course some documentation. Not too worried about any of that. The biggest things that I'm worried about, one, obviously getting this thing charged up, ready to go, and two, getting it mounted on the actual rifle. Here's what I'm gonna do. First things first, I'm just gonna charge it. So I'll plug this in and we'll come back to this whole setup probably in a few hours once everything's charged and we'll continue with the rest of it. I guess I could use either tail cap while I'm charging, so it doesn't really matter there. It fits nice and snug. My previous complaint about the kind of less than ideal tail cap or um, charging port cover on the through night, it still holds. If there's a weak link on the through night, it's really that. I don't love this charging port, but like I said, we'll worry about that in a little bit. Let me get this thing charged. Hey, I'll even use the included charging cable. And once this thing's done charging, we'll come back. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you can see, but the indicator light is blue. That means this thing is fully charged. So we're ready to move on to the next phase of the excitement. Now, owing to the fact that YouTube is kind of goofy and capricious, this is gonna end up there. So don't be alarmed when I fast forward and this is all magically taken care of. But some notes that I wanna to mention to you, Anytime I screw anything to a gun, rifle, pistol, whatever, some form of Loctite is always used. And I've already put some Loctite blue on that screw to keep this attached to the rail and not going anywhere. These four mounting screws for this light, they're definitely gonna end up in the same kind of configuration. Definitely some blue Loctite. So just a magical montage and then... And boom, montage over, light is installed. Some notes, I left this switch, the side switch, kind of readily available without tucking it in, and I might change my mind on that. But this is pretty solid where it rests, and obviously this is gonna need to go on the rail, probably same thing, I don't wanna show you me actually putting it on the rail, but we'll get to that. Also notice there's no sight on here right now. There's probably another video in the works to talk about that, but let me come up with something for this. All right, so now the switch is in place. I'm probably gonna cable this up at some point, but the tape switch works. I can't comment on durability, like will it take 10,000 cycles? I don't know, am I going to make myself epileptic if I keep doing this? Maybe. I've always been pretty impressed with the Through Knight's output, at least in terms of throw or candela. 
I don't know that it makes all of the lumens that it claims, which I think is like 1900 or something like that. So uh, strong claim, but like I said, the throw is definitely there. I've played with it outdoors in the basement, not on this rifle, obviously, and it has worked. So single function tail switch, like momentary only. I like that. You still got this. If you want to use any of the admin modes, like let's just say we want to use moonlight, we can hold it for five seconds. And I don't know, even know if you can see it in this light, but it's outputting that super, super low output. And then it, it'll go into the other modes. So you can do, I think it's just three modes with the side switch, low, medium, and high. But this, the tail switch gives you the turbo, which trust me, I realize that the camera kind of down scales the light itself. But guys, I don't, I don't hate this. Um, here's the thing. This is $59 worth of light. It doesn't really count the rail section. So if you need to buy a rail section, I'll put some links to that. But I used a polymer rail section, didn't use a metal one. And I think this is a Magpul one. And obviously I'm super antiquated and I've got the BCM key mod. At some point, yes, I'll switch this to M-Lock. But man, this rifle's been so good. I kind of just don't want to mess with it. Seriously, I cannot tell you how many rounds this thing's chewed up, spat out, never malfunctioned. Uh, I don't even want to talk about the last time I cleaned it because it wasn't really this year. And I'm trying to remember if it was even last year. I just throw some more oil in the bolt carrier and I just keep running it. Don't do that necessarily. Solid mounting, like it's there. And we've got, you know, momentary. Also, I should mention, you can lock this out. So if I hold this down to moonlight and then I hold it down for another five seconds, the moonlight goes away and now complete lockout. So if you got to throw this in a bag or a case where things might press against it, like the size of the case, this is really not a bad option for that either. I'm sure you could unscrew the tail switch some. Oh, and speaking of unscrewing the tail switch, I should mention one of the downsides of through night, it's a bargain light guys. And when you have bargain lights, you end up with some bargain behaviors. For instance, let me see if I can get this tail cap off. The threads are not anodized on this switch or on the flashlight body, I'm sorry. More expensive lights, you see this and the threads are maybe not cut as nicely. There's all sorts of things going on here. $59 worth of setup though, guys. And this light itself, the TN12 Pro, just in normal configuration without the weapon setup is typically at a pretty bargain price. Maybe you don't need to do the bargain. Maybe you've got more cash to spend. If I was going to spend a hundred bucks, I would probably start looking at the Streamlight rail mounts. Uh, I might consider one of the Phoenix lights with their addition of the tape switch and tail cap. The problem you run into is now I'm talking anywhere from a hundred to 150 bucks. And then obviously there's some of the higher end Surefires. There's the cloud, there's mod light, and those are good lights, but now we're talking 300 plus. This set up as you're currently seeing it on my rifle. If we undo the tail cap, it undoes the lock as well. So once again, let me lock it again. Yeah. So if you got 60 bucks to spend, you want to put a light on your rifle. I think this is a pretty good option guys. Yeah. And it's, like I said, it is super bright. You know, you'll probably need to get some cable tie or something to keep the cable from going all over the place. I'll uh, come up with something to keep it from getting too close to the gas tube because uh, obviously that would be a melty situation and we definitely don't want that. I might actually just cable tie the excess to the flashlight body itself. That would keep it off of the rifle and out of the path of my hand, either when I'm on the gun or not. Like I said, reasonably durable. I don't know if I start beating this with a hammer, if that's going to go like badly. But right now, for what this is, 59 bucks, sturdily mounted. Yeah, I like it guys. So if you don't have several hundred dollars to spend and I'll put a link to this specific configuration in the description, you could definitely do worse than this. Heck, I've seen worse. Uh, I know I've complained to you guys multiple times about some of the O-Light configurations of weapon lights. Like I even have one floating around here. The problem with this thing, man, it's really, it looks nice. Smallest mounting surface ever. These screws will strip clean the heck out and this can just pop off. Like it's, it quote locks, but this little locking collar, super easy. Somebody told me, hey, oh, well they, they fixed that in the more recent ones. And they probably did, but here's the problem I see with OLED every time is they fix one thing and then something else crops up. And I'm not even gonna talk about the explosivo factor. So plus this, easily a hundred bucks. This, once again, $59. And uh, it's probably sad to say, but I have more faith in the through night than I do in Olight. I'm not going to talk any further, guys. I will leave this here at this point, but I definitely want to say 
if you want a quote bargain high output rail mounted light man the uh, through night tn12 pro with the tactical setup uh, i kind of like it so i'll talk to you later guys take care stay safe hey if you feel like hitting that like or subscribe i appreciate you and i'll talk to you soon get them jay